So NVIDIA just dropped an emergency driver update. If you've got one of their new RTX 50 series cards, you're gonna wanna pay close attention because it includes a really critical fix, but it also introduces a new and potentially game-breaking problem. Hey, does this look familiar? Have you been in a game and seen this weird, ugly banding effect in the colors? It's been a real headache for a lot of people. Well, here's the good news. NVIDIA just pushed a patch to finally fix it. The bad news, well, there's a pretty major catch that might make you wanna hold off on clicking that install button. Okay, so to really get why this hotfix is both so needed and honestly so tricky, we need to rewind a little bit and talk about the, uh, let's say, rocky launch of the RTX 50 series. You know, when the RTX 50 cards first launched, the feeling in the community was kind of lukewarm. For a lot of us, they didn't really feel like a true next-gen leap. It felt more like a refresh. And why? Well, they were built on the exact same manufacturing technology as the old RTX 40 series, which basically made them feel like souped-up versions that just sucked down a whole lot more power. I mean, just look at the flagship, the RTX 5090. Sure, it gave you an impressive 30% performance boost, which sounds amazing, but the catch was that it came with a 30% increase in power consumption. That's not exactly the big leap in efficiency everyone was hoping for. And oh, it didn't stop there. The whole launch was just this perfect storm of issues. We saw the return of those notorious burning 600 watt power connectors, prices were through the roof at launch, and there was just a steady stream of bugs and stability problems. So yeah, this is why it feels like NVIDIA has been in constant damage control mode, pushing out patches. And that brings us right to today in this new GeForce 591.67 hotfix. This is basically NVIDIA's emergency response, trying to stamp out some of the most annoying bugs that have been lingering since these cards came out. Now, it's really important to understand what a hotfix is. This is not your typical feature-packed, game-ready driver. A hotfix is more like a surgical strike. It's a small, fast patch that's designed to solve a couple of very specific, very urgent problems and just get it out the door as fast as possible. So what's in this emergency package? Well, it targets three key problems that users have been complaining about. First up, and this is the big one for many, it finally gets rid of that ugly color banding in SDR mode, a bug that's been around since December. Second, it fixes a problem with the digital vibrance setting where colors just weren't being applied right. And third, it squashes a small, but let's be honest, incredibly annoying bug that stopped you from hiding the NVIDIA icon in your system tray. And just to give you an idea of how much that last one drove people crazy, the reaction from the community has been huge. I've seen people on Reddit saying that just being able to hide that tray icon makes this whole update worth it. It really shows you that sometimes it's the small quality of life fixes that matter the most. But, and you knew there was a but, here's the twist. This fix isn't exactly free. By solving those three problems, this hotfix creates a brand new one. And for a huge chunk of the gaming community, this one is a total deal breaker. This is the trade-off you're looking at. You can install this driver and, on one hand, fix those visual bugs we just talked about. But on the other hand, you will completely break any game that uses the BattleEye anti-cheat system. They just won't work, period. This is what can happen when you rush a patch out. Sometimes a fix in one area can mess up compatibility with something else, like a complex anti-cheat program. And we are not talking about small, niche games here. This incompatibility hits some of the biggest games on the market right now. We're talking the Battlefield series, FC25, FIFA 23, and a whole bunch of others that rely on BattleEye. If you play any of these, updating right now is just not an option. So all of this brings us to the final decision, which really is all about you and what games you actually play. So what's the play here? Well, if that color banding or the tray icon bug has been driving you absolutely mad and you don't touch any games that use BattleEye, then yeah, this hotfix is probably a godsend. Go for it. But for everyone else, the smart move is probably to just wait for the next full, stable, game-ready driver. Usually all the fixes from a hotfix get rolled into the next major release within a few weeks anyway, so hopefully you won't have to wait too long for a fix that doesn't nuke half your game library. Ultimately, the choice is yours.